Hello, how are we all? We doing good? Good. Okay, so me again. Um, now, I, I did go to Pound Shop, but my um, future daughter-in-law did, and she bought loads of little Easter bits and pieces. So I wanna show, cause she won't come on here and do the video. So I said, just give it to me and I'll do it. So um, I've already said hello and I. Ignore me, ignore me. And look, I've got my bed jacket on. This, actually, this came out of home bargains. I know it's got some tea stains on it, but you know a lot, instead of wearing a dressing gown, um, sometimes, uh, well, you know me, I get too hot. So I haven't worn a dressing gown for a little while. I did when I was ill, funny enough. Anyway, so my Lulu bought me a, what I call a bed jacket. So it's just like a cardigan, but it actually was from Home Bargains. In there, you know they do bits and pieces clothes-wise, and this was in in a little section it had like pajamas and slippers, and these hanging up to match the pajamas. And it was only like a tenner, and it's fleecy. But it's just right, so that if you don't want to put a big, thick, heavy dressing gown on, chuck this over me. So I love this. This is one of them, you know, not, I'm not too, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? I don't know, it's gone. Anyway, forget it. Let's just move on. I was just going to say something like, when you don't want to put a cardigan on, or you don't want to put a, you know, a big jacket on, or a big dressing gown, which I've already said. I'm repeating myself now. Oh, get on with it, Nick. Anyway, right, let's, so let's get on with this, right? So we've got pound shop. So, but look at these cute bags she bought in there as well. Now, every time she goes shopping, she if she sees one of these nice reusable bags, because it's got a pretty pattern on it, she buys them. I must have a hundred in my car. But look how nice that is. I just like the pattern. And this reminds me of, and I'm not that, um, th this isn't my, What's the word? Fashion, I suppose. Is it Kath Kitson or Kath Kidson? I've seen it only because I used to work in London near one of the shops and I just recognised this pattern and that's what that reminds me of. That florally look. But I think they're really pretty, these bags. Anyway, so she's got an idea. This is what she wants to do for Easter. So um, because the baby, my little Dolly Doodles, will be one at Easter, um, we're going to do like... Um, uh, little, little, little afternoon tea. She's only one, and there's only us here, so she's good, just going to do a little afternoon tea for the children. So the idea was, if it's a nice sunny day, we're going to put out the table at the garden and decorate it with a lovely Easter theme, and put little Easter eggs on it, and make them little Easter bonnets. And I mean, there's only three of them. Or the baby Alfie, who's nine, he probably won't wear an Easter bonnet, and Maya and then do that. So that'd be a nice little video to show you as well when I get round to do it when it when it gets around to Easter. So what she's bought was, you know they do those little grass, artificial grass um, panels. So she's bought three of these to use as a table runner. Um, I don't, what's that? Is that about a metre, would you say? So three of those down the middle, that's gonna be our little centerpiece, like artificial grass. Um, table runner, yeah, there you go. It's 75 centimetre by, by 25, obviously a pound. Um, I'll, I'll show you that in a second, wait a minute. What else has she got in there? Now I haven't been through this bag. She just came in and went, oh, I've got these bits and pieces. And I went, yeah, give it to me, I'll do it for you. Uh, so, for the Easter as well, we've got a Peter Rabbit mix of popping candy. So they be for the, oh, they're like little tiny, hang on, a minute. They're witty little tiny packets. They're literally, look how big they are. I nearly dropped it then. Like that, tiny little witty ones. Popping candy, so they, they'll be going on now. What has she got in here? She's bought some Vanish, two bottles of Vanish. Vanish stain removal, pre-treat soak in a wash. Liquid fabric stain remover. And she's bought a spray. Now, why do you need two? Why do you need a liquid and a spray? God only knows. More money than sense, as my name used to say. Oh, some Wrigley Spearmints. <laughs> Cracks me up. What's this little thing? 
uh, a miracle sculpting sponge. What's that for makeup? Is that for makeup? Oh, oh hang on, sorry, you can't see the sun. Uh, light's shining in too much. I don't know. Uh, honestly, what is that thing? Designed to help create shadows or highlight your favourite facial features. Use damp for a dewy glow or dry for a full coverage. Bloody hell, I need more than a full coverage, mate. I need a whole new face, a whole new face with me. Anyway, there you go, so she's got that. Now she's got four of these spray paints. Now these, she does, I think I told you this before, she um, cleans prams and she reckons this is a really good spray for the wheels to clean them all up and make them look really pristine and black. And it's called Car Pride Black Pack. So if you're doing your own prams, get some of that. So she's got a few tins of them. Need to come off. Let's shove that out of the way. She bought this cute little baby grow. Now this is, what size is this? It's got to be a nine to 12. Oh no, it's not, it's a six to nine. Now I would have got the nine to 12 because Doodles is nearly a year old, so it's six to nine. Look how pretty that is, little Bambi. So cute. And that was a fiver. Probably about the same as it is in, you know, Primark, but very, very sweet. Nice coral colour, you know. Put that over there. What else has she got in here? Oh, a minute. The table, the table runners. She says she had three of them, so three of them. We've got some little baskets. I'll show you those in a second and more sweets. So she's got a little egg basket for Alfie, obviously blue, they're called treat baskets. Oh, I didn't show you the right way, treat baskets. Um, blue and two little pink ones for the when they do the Easter egg hunt. And I can go there. Shut them down a minute. More sweets, so we've got some Swizzlers, chick, drumstick squashes little sweeties uh, sweets in here for a minute what else she got? oh a couple of little easter eggs so just a maltesers mini bunny uh, a chocolate peter rabbit buttons and a little white milky bar bum so three little easter eggs And some of those, did I do the home bargains one when I bought the Easter bits? Did I do that one with you? Can't remember whether I did or not. Anyway, so in there they've got these little hanging eggs, little pretty decorating things. So you've got six in a packet there. They're, they're just foam, probably just dipped in like, like glitter. So you, can, you might, if you couldn't get to the pound shop or whatever, but you managed to get some foam ones, you could do yourself. But to be honest with you, you might as well go and buy them for a quid. So she's got a couple of packets of those to decorate the table. A couple of packets of the little carrots. And, oh, and a paint your, paint your own. So these are paint your own eggs. So they look like they're a plastic egg pack. You've got five, and little paints and little paintbrush. So if it's a nice day, one we're doing out there, then they can they can do that. So one for Alfie and one for Maya. Obviously not doodles because she's too little. Oh, these look cute. Oh, I thought they were money boxes, but they're not. Little Tiddy, look at them, aren't they sweet? Little blue and a little pink bunny. Are they China? Yeah, yeah, China. I mean, obviously not real China. Oh, oh, I don't know, anyway. Look how cute they are. And these would make um, really good little um, baby decorations, you know, like for a baby girl, baby boy, they would be cute to make up a little little arrangement and put them in the center. How cute are they? Lovely, that's given me an idea now. I might do one of them, but I really like them. They're really nice, very pretty. They've got like an iridescent color in them. That vanish has gone on my fingers now. It's bloody bleached them. So. 
we bought some little bunny ears. So they've all got a little bunny ear each. Oh, and it comes with a tail, look. Oh, let's get these out, hang on. Wait a minute. Oh, it only has as well, look. It's got the little tail. Look. Little tail. Oh, shit. Oh, shoot, I mean. <laughs> Well, that weren't glued in very well, was it? It's only, it's only come out. Look. Oh. I'll have to glue that in and not tell her. Or I'll get needle and cotton and try and sew that in again. Look. Oh, done it again. <laughs> oh, God. Right, okay. Don't, don't worry. Don't panic, Mr. Mannering. I will do it. But anyway, so that's obviously the little tail. It's a good idea. You could do your own, actually, of these. Bit of yarn. Make your little pom-pom. And put a bit of elastic or an elastic band. Brilliant. Done. And then the little ears, look. Little, little bunny ears. <laughs> you know what will happen? I'll be having these on as well. be running around the garden like this. Do, do, do. <laughs> do, do, do. Does that. Oh, they, yeah, they're really sweet as well. Didn't that a little bunny, little bunny pom pom thing on me, Bob? Oh no, she did get another one, little white one. So probably Alfie, possibly Maya, because she likes pink, and probably Doodles, the white one, iridescent one. They're really sweet. And another grass one. Right, that was it for the um, pound shop, what she got. So not a bad little little collection of bits there at all. Now, I'm gonna show you, um, now we've gone off of that bit there, the, uh, the wreath I did for um, one of my ladies, a huge wreath. Now, I posted a picture on my page um, of the before shot. So it's a metre in diameter, this wreath, so it's huge. And the lady wanted just like, um, Rusticky colours, you know, like, uh, na uh, not natural, a, a touch of grey, but some blush in it, some creams, a, a touch of bronze in it, and it, it's really, really nice, and it's in the hallway, so I'm going to take you out there, and I'm going to show you that, and then I'm going to show you a couple of other things I've been doing, which are out there as well, um, and I did get a couple of bits from Home Bargains as well. So I could get that out as well. I think I'll go and get them there, right? So hold on a minute and let me go and get that. This next bit is all from Home Bargains. And when I went back, I went back the other day and they hardly had any Easter bits at all. Um, anyway, they do in there packs of little daisies. They do yellow ones and they do the white ones. And I just picked up a packet of these and I quite like these to put on like I've done a couple of reefs and they're nice to just dot around the reefs. Um, so I'm not gonna use these for the table decoration for the children, I'm actually gonna use these for my own purposes, my own like craft if you like. And I can't, to be honest with you, I can't remember how much they was, but I think they're like 69 or 79p. So not a lot of money for 25 little flowers. And as I say, they did them in yellow and they did them in white. Now, um, they also do these little witty felt bags in there. I'm just looking on the back to make sure it's home bargains. I'm pretty sure it was. Little titty felt bags, the little bunny. I mean, you're not gonna get a lot of Easter eggs in it, but you can if you buy the little, you know, like mini eggs, little titty ones will go in there quite nicely. And I think they're really sweet. They're just made it, cover his face up. They're just made out of felt. So I put, and again, these are like 59p, something like that, little cute bunnies. Again, home bargains. I've got cotton hanging down there. Cute little ones for the little girls. Um, they've got in there little mini, now Maya's had these out already. These was all boxed up and she's gone in my room and saw them and took them all out. Nanny, are these for me? And I couldn't say no. So in there as well, they do little packs of sheep. Look at the little sheep or lamb. Really cute. They've got packs of them. There is under a pound, 69p, something like that. I can't remember how many get in the box. They do little titty witty chicks. Hang on. Little chicks. 
little titty witty yellow ones and the little white ones. So packs of them they've got in there. But these are these little titty ones are actually for, we're gonna be doing their Easter bonnets and they're just to go on their Easter bonnets. And I'll show you the bonnet in a second. So them, what else? Oh, there's another packet of the chicks. So these are slightly bigger, again, under a pound. The eggs, I really like their eggs in there. And I mean, they're decorative eggs. And I've got a couple of packets of these and they're about 69p. And they, um, I'll get one out. These are not, these are plastic, they're not foam. And they've got little ribbons on them. Really sweet, nice colors, love these Easter colors. Really pretty. Oh, nearly dropped one. How nice they are. I mean, you can put you put these on table decoration. You can get a little tree. You can get little trees. I bought a couple of little trees from the pound shop. Um, little miniature Easter ones, and I've actually kept them for for Christmas for away because they're white glittery ones, and they're great for Christmas for Christmas uh, crafts. So I've actually put them away, um, but. If you see them, get them, because they're only a quid, and then you can decorate with your little, little um, Easter eggs on there. So that would be a good idea, so you can use those. So I've got a couple of packets of those. They also had in there, to go along with your little chicks and, and whatnot for your bonnet, an actual bonnet craft kit. Um, this is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure it was like 150, something like that. And in there you get a couple of ladybirds. These are the felt bits in there. A couple of ladybirds, a lamb, a rabbit, some little chicks, oh, a couple of other little rabbits. Let me show you, it's not a lot. Sorry, the light's kind of shining on it, reflecting. But, perfect for a little bonnet. Get, you know, cheap as chips. Do your own. I know you can probably buy a bonnet made up, but I think the kids like making their own bits, you know? And these are the little bonnets. They had lemon, pink, and white. And I bought for the girls, obviously, a pink one and a white one. I mean, doodles is a swamper, but we're, we're gonna do it anyway. I might be able to kind of pull it in a bit tight, gather it at each side and just staple it. Um, not staple it, sew it a bit, so it makes it tighter for her. You know, that, that was only, I don't even think that was a pound. So they're really sweet. And they've obviously got them in the pound shop as well. So that's the Easter bonnets. They also had in their little witty rabbits on sticks. They come in a packet, but my eyes had that out. Oh, they, hang on. Oh no, it's the eyes shaking. They've got little, do you know them little titty eyes? What move about, that's them making a little, and I can hear them making little noises. And they had different colours, so pink, they had pink, blue, um, what other colour have I got here? Oh, there's, wait a minute, wait a minute, oh, hang on, yeah, pink, blue, how many came in a, I don't even know how many came in a packet, it doesn't say, madam, let's take them out. Wait a minute, and there's the other stick there, they're only foam. I think there were six in a packet, and I've got one missing, so I don't know what other, can't remember what other colour was. But they're really sweet to do your decoration as well. These again are the same similar ones to what's in the pound shop. Your little glittery eggs, which is the same as those. Slightly different colours. These are quite bright. These are a bit more um, toned down, a bit more mellow looking. But very, very pretty. Equally pretty. Just make sure there's no more in there. No. So they're really nice. <coughs> Now, their rabbit's ears, hold on a minute. I opened that one, didn't I? Right, that's the one. Their rabbit's ears um, don't have the, the bum. Not the bloody bum. What's the, the pom-pom for the tail? They haven't got them in there. They've only got the rabbit's ears. Still nice, exactly the same. Slightly bigger bit here. I think I prefer that one, actually. Um, just without the little pom-pom for the tail. So they was in there, probably under a pound, I would have thought. Um, oh, they had these, but now they've got none left of these either. Really pretty little butterflies. Gorgeous colours, they were colours like these. They matched the rabbits. So they had like yellow, blue, green, purple, pink. Honestly, I just, I grabbed a couple of them as well and they ain't got none left. 
and they're on little clips so you can clip them again if you just make your own wreath a spring wreath perfect to go on there really really nice uh, they was under a quid um, a little Easter sign this is nice to go on a wreath as well little wooden Easter sign look how cute they are they're just so nice and again you could use this for Easter and then paint over the top of this to get like to go over the sign there we'll leave a happy bit there and you could put birthday under there or um, you know a new baby coming because you know rabbits associate don't they bunnies go with new babies so you could paint that and and de what's the word de not deconstruct it because you don't need to take it apart you know redo it if you like um and you can make a little arrangement out of that for a new baby or a wreath and put that on there so sweet so these are well worth getting and i think that was about 59p right so move oh no 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 and, and these oh my god these are so cute as well flocked rabbit they were 69 i think they were 69p and i've got two lemon and a white one and they look really expensive they're so nice so we're going to decorate the table with those as well they was obviously out of home bargains they're really nice and then moving on from that quickly i bought a couple of mother's day bits so my mum likes china teacups she doesn't really like a cup of tea in a big chunky heavy mug so um, she's been saying to me for ages, oh, can you, when you go out and about, can you see if you can find me a relatively decent size mug, like a half mug, not a big, thick, heavy one, and a lightweight one. And so they had these in there, the Mother's Day ones. Now, you can't put this in the dishwasher, I'm thinking, because it's, it's rose gold around there. And obviously, you can't put them in the microwave. Um, but that's really nice. It's called a footed mug in their in their mother's day collection and i think that's like it was under two pound it was either 199 or 149 something like that um and it's a nice lightweight china so that would be perfect for her and i bought the candle to match and on the front it says if mums were flowers i'd pick you Isn't that nice so that matches the mug so i thought that's nice you people always use candles well we do in this house anyway and my, and my mum does so that won't go to waste um and it's the smell is called peony blush it's not too strong it's a very fresh smell um i think that was under a pound i can't remember but once you finished obviously with the candle you know even if you didn't want this logo on it or your mum didn't want the logo on it just reuse it just spray paint it or something like that or, or turn it around the other way um but i actually would have that on show because i think it's very pretty so that's kind of oh no one more thing, one more thing you know i did the mother's day hamper so what i bought in there was to go in the hampers they have got little packs of white and pink um face cloths and i would just take the take the thing off the ribbon bit and they're not a bad size i mean they're not fantastic quality i must admit but they're not bad so i would roll these up put a little bow around them um and put put them in your hamper to make to, if you're making up a little pamper ham, pamp hamper one of those and for four in a pack i think they were 99p so you've got two white and two pink so i bought those for the hampers now as we're getting cracking on for the time i'm conscious of the time you lot i'm going to quickly take the rest before i put it all away and wrap it up look at that gorgeous wreath how nice does that look in an entryway? So nice, it's a metre. Anyway, talk about that later. We'll get on to something else. So, what did you think of the wreath? Lovely. I put my hand over there then, didn't I? Um, I really enjoyed making that wreath. It was such a pleasure doing it. And it took me a long time, but it, it was well worth it. Um, and yeah, I'm definitely gonna do one for myself because um, up the back at the summer house, um, which I will come and show you, like it's now all kind of done up there now. We're just now putting all the decoration, not the decorations, but putting the home decor style in there. Um, I'm gonna do one for myself to go right on the back. So watch this space and I'll be showing you that soon, all right? So I'll see you soon and take care. Goodbye.